Good afternoon, welcome to Hilton Park, Lees, the Saints take the field. Led out by Captain Shane Cooper, who has also taken over as uh, player coach. Due to the, uh, due to the sensational axing of uh, Alex Murphy, or parting, I should say, of Alex Murphy from the uh, Saints coaching job earlier on in the week. The Saints team for today, number one, Beavers, two, Tanner, three, K, four, Lachlan, five, Hunt, six, Frodsham, seven, Bailey, eight, Evans, nine, Groves, ten, Bateman, eleven, Harrison, twelve, Haggerty, thirteen, Cooper, fourteen, Holding, and fifteen, Quirk. <laughs> who is an Well, a minute silence being held there, and you can always be assured of a proper minute silence at a rugby ground for uh, Jack Meadows, the kit man from the Saints, who uh, died suddenly last Tuesday. As you heard on the PA system, he's an ex Lancashire referee, and uh, he'll be sadly missed at uh, the Saints. It's ready for kickoff now. Referee Whitfield, Shane Cooper, Saints captain, and Lee captain is Bob Beardmore. The Lee side, number one, Johnson, two, Moy Moy, three, Stevenson, four, Jeffrey, five, Standish, six, Ruane, seven, Beardmore, eight, Brown, nine, Dean, ten, Case, eleven, Collier, twelve, Rapati, Peter Rapati, thirteen, Plath, with substitutes, fourteen, Westhead, and fifteen, Cottrell. Both teams today looking for points. Saints uh, have to get back on winning ways after three defeats. We had twelve matches unbeaten, and then went down to three defeats over the Christmas period. Paul Lockley in the centre field, I'm surprised to uh, see him out there. A suspected broken finger, but he's also suffering with groin and stomach muscle trouble. He's ready to kick off now. The kickoff delayed 15 minutes due to uh, plenty of uh, crowd. He's trying to get in, and uh, I think uh, possibly the uh, lack of open turnstiles here at Lee. But Paul Lockley kicks off. Lee take possession in their own 25. A change uh, to the referee with Robin Whitfield. It was Ray Tennant that had been down on the uh, match day programme. But for whatever reason, we've got Robin Whitfield from Witness. Uh, a nasty day. The pitch, uh, it doesn't look too bad, uh, probably on your screen, but it's uh, really cut up the... I believe he had an 18 match yesterday, and after uh, uh, persistent rain all morning, they did play the 18 match. But Saints uh, penalised by referee Whitfield, moving up uh, too quickly. Have to play the ball. For the first penalty of the game, after just uh, a virtually a minute's play, going Lee's way. Well, Lee wanted a quick play of the ball, but uh, an extra ball on the uh, field. Lee resumed just uh, inside their own half. Coached by ex Saint Billy Benyon, ex Saint coach. Billy Benyon there, he was uh, sensationally sacked. Alex Murphy took over shortly after. But Saints there in, uh, in charge of uh, player coach, temporary player coach, Shane Cooper. Second row forward, Peter Apathy coming through there. Tony Kay, Tommy Prodigy at the tackle. Lee moving it across field. Bob Beardmore, the ex uh, Castleford scrum half of this big New Zealand prop, Peter Brown. One of three New Zealanders in the Lee side, but it's. Uh, Beardmore positional kicking. Gets a look at the bouncer, just beats David Tanner and goes into touch. A scrum down to be formed, uh, so roughly about 15 yards from the lee line. It's going to be Mark Bailey at the scrum half position today for the Saints. Injuries to Neil Holding and Jonathan Griffiths. But Saints come up with the ball, Mark Bailey brings it blindside. But solid tackling forces him into touch. So another scrum down, but it's going to be a lee feed this time. Bob Beardmore. Season campaign, a snapped up here at uh, Lee by Billy Benyon. And Lee come up with the ball. 
Plum moved her, Beardmore going cross field, David Stevenson coming through on the diagonal, but uh, not uh, the ball not being released. But it's Lee again, spreading it quickly across the face of the post. Loose ball, but tidied up by Shane Cooper, trying to get the Saints underway. Although he has been named as the caretaker player coach, Shane Cooper, he said he would relish the uh, possibility of taking over full-time. Obviously, it will be considered by the board, but only time will tell. Paul Grubbs, half back in half-back for Saints. The ball back to Lachlan for the kick downfield. Dismal day here at Lee, the floodlights being put on very early. Very low light and uh, some uh, lightish drizzle at present coming down. Lee back in possession. I think that's Mick Dean from Atkin half back, scampers into the Saints half. Stuart Evans heard in at the tackle with Andy Bateman. Stuart Evans made his debut here for the Saints against Lee in a Lancashire Cup tie a couple of years ago. But there's a loose ball, Saints have come up with it. Referee Whitfield was on the lee side. Paul Groves obviously foraging for that ball. And Lee penalised for offside, moving up too quickly at the play of the ball. And also penalised a further 10 yards for uh, descent. So it's a chance now for Paul Lachlan, if he wants to go for goal. Lee being taken up for further uh, 10 yards. With somebody saying something out of place to referee Whitfield. And you just uh, don't do that, do you? So the first chance of points for either side is Paul Lachlan. It's about 38 yards, I reckon, from the uh, goalposts, more or less centre field. And Paul Lachlan there, the Saints' uh, leading goal scorer with 93 uh, goals. He's also top of the uh, Rugby League goal kicking charts. As I say, I was surprised to see him out there. He's a nasty stomach and groin injury and a suspected broken finger, which uh, wasn't. But Lachlan lost it well. Goes to the left of the sticks. So an early chance, just going to miss uh, for the Saints. But Lee are going to have to drop out from the centre of the 25. I think it's loose forward there, Platt. That's a very deep kick. As Lee charge upfield, Beavers takes it. Alan Hunt comes in field. Beavers going on the blind side, brings it up to the 25, uh, just outside the 25. Frodsham, inside ball to Evans. Certainly his presence was spent uh, last week against Widnes at Nosey Road. It's a tremendous forward, Evans, well, Bailey, into space. John Harrison's with him, Lachlan's also with him. Inside ball to Lachlan. <coughs> Inside ball to Lachlan, he dives over there, 10 yards to the left of the stick, early points on the board for Saints, and uh, more or less a full length of the field score there for the Saints. Paul Lachlan there going over, that's his 12th try of the season for the Saints, and that's a break come from uh, Mark Bailey in the Saints 25, he heard through, created the gap, John Harrison was on uh, Bailey's left, but Paul Lachlan loomed up, no effort to Lachlan there, uh, strode well and a perfectly timed pass there from Bailey. Uh, Taken well by Lachlan and he heard uh, to the uh, lead try line and touched down 10 yards to the left of the sticks. So six minutes gone and Saints take an early lead, four points to nil at present. Both sides needing points in the uh, Stones Bitter League Championship table. Lachlan now strikes it well, right between the uprights and Saints, six points to nil in the lead. Ninety-fourth goal of the season there, and a good performance from the Saints is essential today. As I said, Saints are fourth in the league. Going down uh, to two defeats over the Christmas period, sometimes this can be crucial. Obviously, we'd have liked two wins, but uh, we're suffering a lot of uh, with injuries. The game against Bradford was called off due to 15, uh, either 14 or 15 players being injured. Subsequently, Saints have been fined £10,000 by the Rugby League. Uh, I'd just like to know how they'd have gone if it had, uh, if it had been Wigan that was in the same position, but uh, that's something we'll never know, will we? 
They are going to appeal and hopefully uh, get the fine cut. But it's eight now with the tails up, six points in the lead. John Harrison, just outside the 25 yard area. Andy Bateman coming on, but Lee tackling well at present. Just that breakaway try though, Mark Bailey penetrating the ranks. Well, it's hit the Lee man. He's managed to retrieve it. He uh, went for the ball. As the ball's put on the ground, it's uh, open for all and sundry. The Lee player went, uh, he struck at it. He came up with possession. So Saints uh, forced to defend now, just outside their own 25. Mick Dean, this uh, lively Lee Hooker, turns it in field, Beardmore. Cut out ball there to Plath. On the charge to David Stevenson on the far side, onto the left centre in Jeffrey. Chip ball, it's loose. And Saints come up with it, yes, Phil Beam as it is. Read the situation well there, but uh, Lee possibly could have made more of that. They didn't, I'm glad to say. But Ian Jeffrey come from his left uh, centre position over there to the right. Stevenson breaking quickly. Good lofted pass there from Alan Platt. But it's Saints back in the hunt. Andy Bateman, he runs hard. Solid tackling, centre field, just outside the Saints 25. The ball back to Lachlan. Saints are going to peg this Lee outfit back if they can. Chris Johnson. Locals and telling glad this Johnson. <laughs> Leading goal scorer at Lee, 28 uh, goals so far. Shane Cooper and Roy Haggerty quickly in at the tackle. Mick Dean as ever. The acting halfback uh, for Lee. Moving it cross field. Peter Rapati. Second row forward for Lee. One of many Rapati brothers. And unfortunately, it's here Rapati that uh, was uh, sad down the shades. He'd have to go home with. Uh, a knee injury, an nasty knee injury. He's hopefully going to be back uh, later on in the year when he's fully recovered. But uh, there are passes, they're certainly doing well over here in this country, aren't they? Class players. Scrum down now, 10 yards outside the Lee 25. The score still six points to nil in Saints' favour. Referee Whitfielder penalises the Saints. An infringement at the scrum. Obviously not part in the before going into the scrum before referee Whitfield had told them to pack. So Lee had awarded the penalty. They find touch on the halfway line there. And Mick Dean to start. First man in, Brian Case. This ex-Wigan forward. I think he started, he's a local, he's a local lad as well, from Telly's lad. Uh, started off with Warrington, I think, maybe, and then uh, to Wigan. And came to Lee with uh, Ian Potter. A well, quick break there from standoff David Ruain, one of the brothers, the Ruains, that used to play for Witness. But it's Lee now, spreading it quickly. David Stevenson, quick ball to Ian Jeffrey, but a good tackle from David Tanner. Been playing well, David Tanner, utility back. He's been in all the back positions. Loose forward, flat there, it certainly looked forward. But it's on to Ian Jeffrey. They're throwing the ball about Lee, but they're not gaining much uh, forward yardage. It's Dean now. Kick through from Beardmore, diagonal kick. Looks well covered there on the far side. The ball being kicked dead by Alan Hunt. Phil Beavers and Hunt over there, but uh, slippy conditions. Fancy drizzle coming down, and uh, you've got to play safe, haven't you? Make sure, no fancy stuff. And the ball kicked dead, so Saints are going to drop out from between the uh, their own posts. 11 minutes of the game gone, six points to nil, the score in Saints' favour. Paul Lachlan there. Just behind the six, he's going to kick out. Tactical move there from uh, Lee with uh, uh, Bob Beardmore. You can have Bob Beardmore and Platt. They'll be the instigators of the Lee's many moves. Lee in possession, just outside the Saints 25. Moving it to cross field. Brian Case again. Very dim and dismal here this afternoon. Well, Saints penalised for moving up too quickly again. Is he going to pick out Tony Kay? Yes, he's pointed to Tony Kay. Lee, look, he's only want to take a quick tap, but are they going to go for goal? Yes, uh, Chris Johnson there uh, signifies that he's going to go for goal. As I said before, he's the leading goal scorer here at Lee with 28 goals to his credit. The leader uh, at the bottom end of the term, the 11th uh, out of 14. The five points clear of Salford with the uh, five points. Now, uh, whether Fe yeah, Featherstone now, I think, are just uh, maybe above five. 
for Salford now, but they're, they're a bottom end of the table. So Lee are just, uh, as I said, in 11th place. There's Salford, Featherstone and Barrow below them. They're in difficult, uh, precarious position there. They need the points as well as uh, Saints need the points. Well, Chris Johnson there, no effort, takes it well, bounds it right between the sticks, puts Lee back in the hunt at uh, two points to six. kicks off, Alan Plath I think it is, that uh, takes it well, big lad, drives it up centre field, just brought down outside his own 25 yard line, and Lee moving it quickly across, well it was change of direction from Beardmore, and the ball flicked back, good break there from Beardmore, onto this lively hook of Mick Dean, but Phil Beavers, crunching tackle from Beavers, him with the shoulder, but it's Lee on the charge, Peter Brown, onto Rapati, inside to Ian Jeffrey. Cooper brings him to a halt, but Lee have moved upfield a good 30, 40 yards there. Peter Brown, this New Zealand prop at dummy half. The ball going crossfield. On to uh, Platt. But Saints tackle has come in. Andy Bateman, the initial uh, perpetrator of that tackle. Beardmore again, positional kicking. He'll be prodding and probing and up to uh, put the Saints back. Right in their own half, but the ball gone dead from Beardmore's kick, too deep. So Saints start with a 25-yard tap from, uh, obviously, the centre of the 25. Alan Hunt's coming in field on the left-wing position today. Les Quirk, that's just had a couple of games recently, gone back onto the uh, substitute forward position. So even though Les Quirk's there, he's uh, not been chosen this afternoon, and we're still short of forward power with the injury crisis obviously it's still looming Paul forward out with a broken thumb Bernard Dwyer he's uh, recovered but maybe not fully for first team action from a broken jaw and lots of the others uh, say it's forward improving Brandy Bateman bringing it blindside sixth and final tackle signified by referee Whitfield Tommy Frodsham at dummy half the ball back to Lachlan but say it's uh, place of Phil Beavers he takes good of the kicking, kicks it deep, well, a knock on. Robert Moy Moy on the right wing there for Lee. On the sixth tackle, that ball is pumped downfield. Robert Moy Moy couldn't take it, obviously difficult conditions. Drizzle still coming down here at Hilton Park Lee. But the advantage uh, with the Saints now, surely 10 yards inside the Lee half. It's a Saints feed, that barely to feed, and he comes up with the ball from the scrum. Beavers in the line there, but solid Lee tackling. Moved up very quickly. Mark Bailey, Tommy Frodsham. On to Tony Kay. Taken down right in front of us here. David Tanner at dummy half. Saints move it in field. Frodsham comes back line side. Looking for support there. Wayne Standish brings him to a halt. Shane Cooper. Mark Bailey. Yes, he's the holder. Bailey tried to scoot through it, but it was Brian Case that brought him down. Lee moving up very quickly, but John Harrison in possession. Big lad, six foot seven of him, just tries to break through the tackle. Well, something uh, referee Whitfield right on there is John Harrison. He must have taken a knock in the tackle. He calls the uh, he calls the uh, physio, the Saints physio, on straight away. He must have heard uh, a crack in the tackle there, and the referee Whitfield he stopped stopped play immediately. Also, Saints have got Tommy Frodsham down here on the touchline. Receiving treatment from Saints uh, physio Janet Smith as uh, John Harrison is receiving uh, treatment centre field. The club doctors are in attention. Well, it must have been a nasty crack. The referee Whitfield, he called the physio on straight away. Tommy Frodsham is back now to full fitness, but John Harrison still receiving treatment. Just being helped to his feet now, but unfortunately he'll have to uh, be replaced. Nasty leg injury for John Harrison and another Saints forward, unfortunately on the injured list. Les Quirk is going to uh, replace uh, John Harrison. So Les Quirk taking his place 
in the Saints lineup. But John uh, Harrison uh, is helped off. Sees a job uh, to go there. He has to be supported by the Lee physio there and the Saints physio. Nasty knee injury, it looks like it. Just trying to put a bit of pressure on it now. But, uh, let's work. Replaces John Harrison after 17 minutes and Saints back in play. Shane Cooper chips through. Tommy Frodsham hacks it on. The Lee man takes it. A Saints charge upfield. Good plan moved there by Shane Cooper. But it's Lee in possession in their own 25. Saints will have to peg them back if they can. Make sure the tackles count. Obviously a forward down. Nice quirk. Has he gone in the pack? Big enough, certainly. Strong enough. <coughs> and Saints obviously restricted with having two backs on the uh, substitutes bench. <laughs> Kick up field by Lee. Alan Hunt covers it. Bill. Well, uh, I was just saying Alan Hunt covers it. There was uh, Hunt and uh, Beavers there. And obviously a mix-up on the far side. And they'd lose his Saints a lot of possession. But... Uh, even though it's going to be a Saints feed, it's uh, Mark Bailey to feed. But the possible chance of Saints coming up with that loose ball there from the kick through. And hopefully moving downfield. But I suppose in theory Lee have a 50-50 chance of booking this ball. And he's got a bad job on against Groves, isn't he? But he does. Lee come up with one against the head. And it puts him back on, uh, on the charge there. Moving it quickly across field, Stevenson. On to Ian Jeffrey, gives the dummy, goes in field. Solid tackling there, perhaps if it had kept moving to the left, he could have scored. He chose to come back in field, did Ian Jeffrey? Feared more. Lee on the charge again. Solid tackle from Agatha, but the ball's flicked up, it's still loose. Brian Case, I think it is, driving for the line. Just brought down short. But it's a place there where we shouldn't have been uh, suffering at all. Well, loose pass from Lee, it's gone into touch, but the pass, the initial pass was forward. It's going to be a scrum down on the far side. Saints subjecting this to a lot of pressure there with a the mix-up between Alan Hunt and Phil Beavers as that ball was kicked through. Mark Bailey now to feed. A free kick uh, to the Saints turn infringement at the scrum down from the lead pack. Foot up in the scrum by uh, Mick Dean, the indication from referee Whitfield. Saints fine touch. 10 yards outside their own 25 and Alan Hunt coming in as first receiver perhaps we could do with some of these forwards coming in taking the ball as first receiver Groves inside ball to Stuart Evans powers his way 10 yards short of the halfway line now Paul Groves back to Bailey inside to Frodsham quick hands there well taken Andy Bateman I think it was that took that ball Players getting a little muddled up, uh, muddied up I should say. Haggerty breaking through, tremendous strength from Roy Haggerty. Just started his benefit season and uh, a more worthwhile beneficiary you couldn't wish to meet, could you? Well the ball lost, uh, Tommy Frodsham has it knocked down. Surely the Lee man knocked it down, it came back and Evans come up with it, but uh, referee Whitfield not happy with it. Scrum down to be formed, just inside the Saints half. The score still uh, present uh, is uh, two points to Lee, six points to Saints. Just over 20 minutes of play remaining in this uh, first half. Lee come up with a ball. But immediately lose it and Beavers uh, snaps it up. Stuart Evans tries to push his man out of the way, tell him flat. But uh, Platt brings him down. Mick Dean comes in doing a bit of mauling. And it takes him possession. Cooper. Good ball to Frodsham. Into space. Bateman's with him. If he's inside to Bateman, can he manage? No, he feeds it inside to uh, Tanner, but he can't come up with it. The ball's loose and Lee are back on the charge. Beardmore coming cross field, I think it is. Unlucky well, there, Saints. A definite chance again. Frodsham there is punching holes in this lead defence. But the final pass just going astray. Dean bringing it blindside. Beardmore 
On to Wayne Standish. Solid tackle from Tony K. Good tackle round the legs. That's the way. Beardmore again. The instigator of these moves at Lee. The ball going cross field. Alan Hunt comes in. Went for the loose ball. He didn't contact with it. Lee comes up with it. But Hunt completes the tackle. And Lee taking it blindside on the far side there. They turn it inside to Plath. Lost it ball again. And Lee is threading it quickly. Looking for space. Well, it's good tackle from Bailey. Tremendous break there. I think it was a standoff there, uh, David Ruane coming through. No, it was Mick Dean. But Lee, they're looking very lively. They've hardly been in, uh, in the Saints 25. But Peter Brown there, diagonal positional kicking. Good kick from Brown. Diagonal grubber, fine touch just in the uh, outside the Saints 25. Yes, uh, no doubt, uh, as I say, it's a rather dismal day here at Hilton Park. You, uh, if you've actually attended the match, you'll know it's really uh, dismal and dark here, but uh, no doubt if you're watching this on video again, you'll uh, notice how the video brings it up to uh, a perfectly watchable standard. But Saints win the ball from the scrum. Still pegged just outside their own 25-yard area. And losing possession, well the ball kicked on, Tony K gathers it, play allowed to go on, K, the rangy lad there, but a little mixed up in the Saints ranks, and uh, to be quite honest, very lucky to regain possession there, Cooper, weaving his way through, he's going to have to lead by example, both, to uh, both Shane Cooper and uh, Tommy Frodsham, playmaker for the Saints, Frodsham has certainly been punching holes in this uh, lead defence, but Lee closing up very quickly and Beaver's there, he's going to catch this ball with Beaver's door, Hunt tacks it on, but the ball going into touch is directly from uh, Hunt's boot, I didn't know whether Beaver's was going to get hold of that, but Alan Hunt booting it directly to touch, it's going to be a scrum down with a Lee feed, 10 yards inside the Lee half. Roughly 16 minutes of play remaining. We have a, a bit of stoppage time to our injury to John Harrison. Lee Feed, Lee come up with possession. Four to three in the Lee favour, I'm making the present. That's obviously including one against the head to the Lee outfit. Chris Johnson from full back position. Well, solid tackle, Haggerty and Bateman. Oh no, it's Les Quirk, I beg your pardon. Forget about Les Quirk, but a big hole there on the, uh, the Alan Plath, I should say. The ball still moving with the hooker, McDean. Certainly not right to throw this ball about, Ali. Dean again. On to Plath, on to Standish. David Tanner takes him. Did well there. Tried to round David Tanner, who did Wayne Standish. And Lee moving it across field. Ruane, short ball there to Brian Case. Back inside to David Stevenson. But Johnson, I think it is, Lee keeping it moving, just uh, getting a little mixed up, bumping into their own man there, but they're moving up for you, 20 or 30 yards, Beardmore again, takes it to the right. So it's been penalised for moving up in an offside position by referee Whitfield, he's certainly keen on this afternoon, isn't he? But Lee tap it, they're going to... Uh, charge forward, Brian Case it is, takes it up to the Saints line, perhaps about five or eight yards short, very difficult from our low position here in uh, the director's box at Lee, but it's Beardmore again, and Lee on the charge, overlap, Alan Plath, yes he goes in, he was looking to pass the ball to his left, but Lee he broke very quickly, and it's this man Beardmore and Plath again, that are uh, causing trouble in the Saints ranks, and Lee opened the try scoring account in the 26 minutes by Alan Platt. It's his third try of the season. And it uh, couldn't come at a more presentable time for Lee. That puts them back on level terms at six points apiece. But they certainly look very lively in the loose. Unfortunately, as I said, they're languishing at the uh, base of this old Vitaly Championship table. 
He had a good win the other week. He uh, beat uh, Salford at the, there at the bottom of the table as well. So every every point's welcome, isn't it, when you're struggling? I mean, Saints are struggling. As I say, after 12 wins, uh, 12 uh, undefeated matches, they're going down to the three over Christmas. And it's imperative that you get back into winning ways against these uh, lower teams. Well, Johnson there. Converts the flat try and it's eight points to six in Leafy. So it's safe to kick off. Paul Lachlan right from the centre spot. Kicks it deep. Taken by Stevenson. The ex Wigan and Leeds campaigner. Unsettled at Leeds, he said, with the travelling. Stopped up by Billy Benyon here at Lee. He's ex international centre. He's a big lad. He can always move up into the uh, forwards. But it's Lee with the tails up, eight points to six. In the lead now, after putting a hell of a lot of pressure on the Saints. You know, referee, that try from referee Whitfield when he penalised Saints on the far side. Lee kick up field, I think it's Peter Brown that kicks it through, but no problem this time. Beavers takes it well. Ten yards short of the halfway line, Beavers is brought down. From back to half back, it's like Paul Lachlan. Tries to scamper through, gains about to five to eight yards just short of the halfway line and Lee penalised for offside this time well you don't mind as long as he uh, plays it both ways do you <laughs> but somebody being brought to be more it is he's the captain but somebody must have said something again in the uh, incident there when Lee penalised for offside well surely he shouldn't speak to him if he's anything he should uh, if he's de made dissent or anything I don't know what happened, but if he uh, has uh, said anything to referee Whitfield, he should be penalised a further 10 yards or even sent to, to the sim bin if he's offended before. Just short of the lead 25, Saints on the charge. Alan Hunt, first receiver. Paul Groves, inside ball. And Saints have got to score, got to get points on the board here. Inside ball, Bailey. On to Roy Agassi, beats the first line of defence. Turns in the tackle, looking for supporters to come up, uh, support the players. But it's Groves again. Tommy Frodsham. Sharp ball to Tory K. Tries to put him through the hole there, but solidly tackling. And it's now Tommy Frodsham attacking half back. Saints moving it back in field. Shane Cooper again, but there's nobody moving forward. Saints just passing it along the line, no uh, forward impetus. Sixth and final tackle now. Beavers, a hasty uh, grubber kick, but it does uh, bounce in the field of play and go into touch. It's gonna, is that the sixth tackle? It is the sixth tackle, but it's still going to be a scrum down because the ball uh, bounced in the field of play, surely. For an injured player on the far side, Brian Case, it looks like, uh, for Lee taking a knock. Yes, uh, forwards there, they're ready to uh, form for the scrum. As it was on the sixth tackle, that Phil B was uh, in possession of the ball and he had to hastily kick that ball to touch. The ball's in the field of play, went in touch. It's just when there's uh, an infringement on the sixth tackle that the changeover is ruled. But it's a Lee feed, Lee head and ball. One one against the head there, is it? Uh, Saints court with possession. Move it quickly, Tommy Frodsham, he's looked good. On to Tony Kay, he has to come in field. As the lead cover defence move over to David Tanner's wing. But he's uh, looking good, Frodsham, there's no danger, he's there again. I don't think he's really been fully fit since he uh, came to Nosey Road. He's got heavy strapping on his knee, but he's certainly carving the holes in this uh, lead defence this afternoon. Groves there. Taking it to the left, still going is Paul Groves, finally bundled to the ground. Well, uh, it's uh, been uh, touched by a lead player there at the play of the ball, so six tackles now for the Saints to make it count. Roy Haggerty on the opposite diagonal, charge, trying to charge through. Solid lead tackle in holds firm. About 20 yards from the lead line. Saints trailing by uh, eight points to six. Cooper, Frodsham again, lofted ball to Tony Kay. Just can't beat the lead defender, Ian Jeffrey. But it's Saints again, unable to penetrate this uh, tight knee defence in their own 25. Along the line there, uh, Andy Bateman as it turns in field. Cooper 
On to Roy Agassi, charging for the line, he's Agassi, only inches short. Sixth and final tackle now. Saints are going to have to run it, they'll have to loft it up and under here, will they? But Bateman is it on the charge. The tries allowed the uh, Paul Lachlan it is that comes through on the burst. I thought it was Andy Bateman, but it's Paul Lachlan, his second of the afternoon. And uh, with seven minutes remaining in this first half, a good time to score there, put Saints back in the lead at 10 points to eight. And surely uh, an easy conversion attempt for Paul Lachlan. Good try for the Saints, sir. That's on the sixth tackle. I was thinking the Saints might have lofted it uh, up in the air. But uh, when you're so close to the line there, if you get some of these big lads coming through, Stuart Evans, Andy Bateman, and Paul Lachlan's a big lad, isn't he? Six foot three and about 14 stone, and he came through onto a lovely ball there and touched down just to the left of the sticks. There he is, attempting to convert his own try. All the points coming from Paul Lachlan uh, this afternoon for the Saints. No problem, bangs it right between the sticks. I put Saints in the lead by 12 points to 8 and about 7 minutes, as I said, remaining of the first half. <laughs> so later kick off, centre field, Bob Beardmore there, but it's Peter Brown, the uh, big New Zealand prop that uh, was with Salford last season. And he's going to kick off. He also played in the Auckland Touring side that uh, came over here in uh, 1987. Very dark outside here and obviously if you haven't attended the match, as I say, you won't appreciate it by your picture, a superb picture there on your video screen. But it's Paul Groves at uh, Dummy Half, bringing it blind side. Andy Bateman moving the ball, driving it upfield. Midway between the halfway and the Saints 25 now. Les Quirk playing in the pack. Due to that uh, unfortunate injury to Big John Addison, but it's Roy Agate looking to thread his way through. Sixth and final tackle signified by the referee. Paul Lachlan now, diagonal kick, yes. Beats Wayne Standish there. Tried to stop it with his foot. But it uh, beat him. Now whether it actually touched Standish or not, uh, I don't know what the referee's decision is, but that was on the sixth tackle. Yes, I think that's the uh, indication we were looking for. It's going to be a Saints feed, Mark Bailey to feed, and uh, pressure back on Lee as they've got to defend. Hopefully Saints hoop this ball just outside the uh, Lee 25. Bailey comes up with it. Tommy Frodsham, oh, unfortunately, puts it down. But the ball's still loose, Ian Jeffrey comes up with it. A rare mistake there from Tommy Frodsham, but uh, difficult handling conditions. Just the Saints were hoping to put an attack on, as they're on a bit of a roll now, just scoring another six points through Paul Lachlan, but it's Lee in possession. They're still spreading it about, throwing it in the tackle, Chris Johnson over to Alan Platt. Tried to move over there to uh, the Moy Moy wing, but solid tackling again. Paul Lachlan coming in. A good crunching tackle, completely envelops his man there and uh, no chance of him spreading that ball. <coughs> Brian Case, 10 yards outside his own 25. Finally wrestled to the ground, he's made another uh, five yards there. Bateman and Groves bring him down, but Lee bring it to the left. Well, knock on there, surely. Well, play allowed to Guani and Jeffrey chips it through. Beavers inside ball to David Tanner. Did well there. Jeffrey was coming through. On to Beavers and he flicked it inside to David Tanner. He moved up another 15 yards upfield. Andy Bateman now taking up the running. Strong lad, but solidly tackling it must be said. Bill Beavers making the extra man, turns it inside, touched the Lee hands there, Shibberley. I thought the Lee man that touched it had come back, but Roy Haggerty, a judge to have knocked on. Scrum down three form just in the Lee half. The Lee, they were promoted last season with, uh, along with Sheffield Eagles and Barrow. And Sheffield are certainly not doing too bad, they're mid-table, but uh, Barrow languishing at the bottom of the first division. Lee come up with the ball from the scrum. Break quickly. 
Quinn Standish now jumps over the defender but uh, Cooper comes in after David Tanner has got him round the legs Ian Jeffrey trying to get Standish going none of the slightest of fellas is Standish Rapati inside ball Plath Lee keeping it going and very fortunate uh, getting the well looked like a bit of obstruction centre field just having the look of the ball there but it's uh, Beardmore trying to get his uh, right wing going there his right wing partnership of uh, Stevenson who'd come inside and Moy Moy on the wing but Lee have moved up field there 10 yards outside the state 25 Beardmore again this is the fella you've got to get into him inside ball there certainly looked a forward pass there to Platt didn't it but Saints, I think it's Paul Groves has come up with it yes down like a ton of bricks there Paul Groves Lachlan great defence on the far side coming back in field looking for support there nobody with him Alan Hunt on his outside but Hunt was uh, as I said he was on the outside Saints do well there nearly lost possession but uh, forced it back towards their own uh, posts Paul Groves Roy Haggerty looking for a gap and support oh he's looking to flick that ball up inside he's Roy Haggerty Tommy Brodsham beats one just taken down by the second line of defence Alan Platt closes him quickly loose ball there from Saints and it's on to Phil Beavers you have to kick downfield it was the sixth and final tackle of this sequence the Chris Johnson coming cross field all on the half time just uh, injury time uh, well he took his time thinking about that didn't he uh, referee Whitfield certainly looked as though he played to the crowd there uh, was going to allow play to go on and then he decided to penalise Roy Haggerty for uh, an alleged holding on to the Lee player so a chance for Lee to possibly get up into a scoring position in the state 25 Beardmore from acting half back you can't give this fella an inch uh, Saints will have to get into him and uh, certainly make the tackle uh, count and make him know he's been tackled Plath over to the left loose ball Vivas comes up with it release a little bit of the pressure for the Saints uh, the pegs are by their own try line Lee moving up very quickly Saints bringing it blindside trying to relieve the uh, onslaught of the Lee the Lee team the trailing by 12 points to 8 but Saints breaking through tremendous break from Bailey Saints first try from Paul Lockton came from a Mark Bailey break certainly got uh, some pace put it on there again it's Haggerty again short ball to Cade as well turns inside to Shane Cooper Saints keeping it going on to Les Quirk well let's see what Quirk can do he's usually used to the uh, rather unruffled wing position where the grass is uh, more or less uh, nice and green and flat but he was there centre field a lofty ball from Tommy Frodsham onto Alan Hunt he couldn't take it it goes into uh, touch on the far side it'd probably be the last scrum of the first half we played uh, just over a minute of stoppage time and I said for that injury to uh, John Harrison Lee haven't been forced to make any substitutions at all it's going to be a Lee feed Beardmore to feed Six scrums to five in Lee favour, I make it. But Lee come up with possession. I think that makes it seven five to Lee. But they've looked lively in patches. On to Alan Platt. Well, whether that was the Uter or not, I don't know. But uh, maybe ready for the half time Uter as Lee bring it quickly. Over to Ian Jeffrey. He has to go back in field. He's still going, is Jeffrey? And Lee now. On to Brian Cage. Centre field. Ten yards short of the halfway line. Alan Platt at uh, dummy half. Ruin. On to Stevenson. Lurking over here. On to Wayne Standish. Has to come in field, but Beavers checked him. Put the ball down to number 11 there. Andy Collier. And a good try for Lee right on the jester. Well, Andy Collier, I think that's the first time I've mentioned his name this afternoon. But he broke well there, did Lee? They hit back right at the vital time, and that's a big disappointment for the Saints. 
after leading by 12 points to 8 but Collier there coming up with a try David Stevenson it was that uh, inspired that he moved off his own right centre position he came over again onto the left centre position he put Wayne Standish away not the biggest of fellas Wayne Standish but supporting on the inside was Andy Collier he took the ball well and he outpaced the Saints defence and he touched down behind the sticks Problem now for uh, Chris Johnson. Strikes it well, right in front of the stick. And that puts Lee into the lead at half time by 14 points to 12. With that score coming in the injury time, we played three and a half minutes of stoppage time, I should say. And uh, Lee taking, uh, well, it's, it must be a deserved half time lead, mustn't it? Because they've run out, they have been patchy. But all Saints points coming from Paul Lachlan, two tries and two goals. Lead point from a Johnson penalty, tries from Plath and Collier there, right in the dying seconds, uh, converted by Johnson, so at half-time it's uh, Lee 14, as St. Helens 12. Hilton Park for the second half of the Stones with the lead clash. Saints trailing at half time by 14 points to 12. That try from Collier in the dying uh, seconds. Neil Holden has come on at half time. I just can't see who he's come on for at present. But I think it's Alan Hunt that's uh, gone off at half time. Les Quirk back on the left wing, Neil Holden in the centre, well Holden's been out injured and just let's hope he can inject a little bit of pace into this second half to see the Saints through to securing the uh, two points. Lee kick off, down to the scoreboard end, Tony Kay comes up with possession. And Shane Cooper taking it up centre field. I've been assured by the uh, Lee video man that this is the first uh, time that we've that Lee have had a Sunday fixture here since the 24th of September due to uh, one thing and another but a tremendous kick up field there from the Saints oh no Alan Hunt he's here down on the wing I thought he'd been replaced I do beg his pardon but uh, Lee have got to make an early substitution and Tony Cottrell, this veteran campaigner. Yeah, this veteran campaigner is coming on to replace uh, number 11, the try scorer there, Andy Collier, just taking a knock in the tackle. But just taking a knock in the tackle there, it must be as a precautionary measure. But it's uh, Stuart Evans. That's uh, been replaced at half time by Neil Holden, so another Saints forward going off injured. Lee come up with the ball from the scrum, the first scrum of the second half. And Saints certainly struggling now. Two big forwards lost, Stuart Evans and uh, big John Addison. Les Quirk and uh, Neil Holden on as replacements. Just can't uh, get a consistent run together. Stuart Evans, lots of niggly injuries. Also, Bernard Dwyer, as I said, he's been out injured. He played in the A team on Thursday. And Saints uh, defeated Halifax at Nosy Road. But for whatever reason, well, Wayne Standish on the far side. But he must have just stepped into touch there before the tackle was completed. Mark Bailey moving in very quickly on the far side, completing the tackle. Scrum to be formed, and uh, I don't know whether you can see it on your picture, but it's, uh, it is, as I say again, very dark, and it's certainly putting some rain down. 
Well, Tench go up with the ball, Neil Olden. Neil Olden again. Tony Kay looking for that uh, break. They've hardly been in the uh, state 25 much in the first half at Lee, but they scored uh, two good tries there. Well worked try by Platt, and then in the dying seconds in injury time, stoppage time from Collier. But it's Paul Groves now. Shane Cooper, long two, Neil Holden. Bullet passed her, tidied up on the far side by Mark Bailey. Mick Bailey's gone out um, to the uh, wing berth on the far side. Les Quirk will still be in the pack, but inside ball there, take by Haggerty. Sixth and final title signified. Teams both getting uh, heavily muddied up. So awkward to pick them out. Neil Holden makes a break onto David Tanner. I think he's come into the centre position as David Tanner. Les Quirk. He's still in the pack. Mark Bailey on the right wing, Tanner on the uh, right centre, Lockland over here on the left centre with Alan Hunt. Reeve is still at full back, Lee in possession. Breaking quickly, move upfield 25 yards. Neil Alden completes the tackle. It made more again, is it? Looking for a, a way through. Dean brings it blindside onto Rapati. On to David Stevenson. Solid tackle there, Stevenson. Looking to release the ball, but solid tackling there. State's moving very quickly. Well, I don't know what he's complaining about. Well, Lee penalised her. It was Rapati that was uh, doing all the spouting. He was complaining. He, he obviously thought that uh, State's had gone in uh, tackling a little uh, more enthusiastic than he uh, expected. I can assure you it wasn't, it was right in front of our commentary position there and good solid tackling, that's the name of the game we're not playing uh, the Ponty's game, the round ball game are we? we're in with the men here with the oval shaped balls you pardon the expression but it's Alan Hunt now just outside the Lee 25, Bateman coming in I'm sure our cameraman will have something to say about that with him being a football fanatic but uh, what can you say, Tommy Frodgham now, centre field Trying to get the Saints going. Certainly look uh, lacking in the uh, penetration of this silly outfit. Haggerty now. Neil holding up to dummy half. Moves it to the right. Saints trying to spread it quickly, but solid lead tackling. He certainly stuck to the task today, but the ball going down. Very difficult to uh, play in unhandling conditions. Well, as we can see there on the far side, uh, the uh, five stall, the three stall here at Lee, it certainly looks as though they've got better lights than uh, the floodlights here at uh, Hilton Park. But uh, State's moving quickly. The ball going back and players allowed to go on. Lee trying to spread it. But they're certainly not frightened to throw it into both, are they? Throwing caution to the wind there, but solid tackling from uh, the Saints come in. Alan Humpty moves in field. But Saints penalised for lying on there. Is it Les Quirk, I think, that uh, penalised for lying on? Obviously awkward conditions, trying to get up very quickly, but referee Whitfield, he was right in there, and Platt, and in touch, it's coming towards as well. They've, uh, they must have heard about us here in the Saints uh, video team, but they missed us that time. But it's Lee still on the charge. Inside ball to Beardmore, lays a lovely ball on Beardmore to Rapati, but he's going to outpace the uh, Saints defence. Rapati goes just to the right of the stick. Good break there from Lee. A tremendous drive from Lee. A full 50-odd yard movement. Six minutes into the second half and it's Rapati there that finishes off in good style. Yes, uh, picked him out there amongst the mucky jerseys. But it extends Lee's lead to 18 points to 12. And surely every possibility of a 20 points to 12 advantage with this Johnson conversion attempt to come. Johnson is uh, kicked three, I think it is, this afternoon. Three goals already, two tries, 14 points at the interval against 12 from the Saints, all courtesy of Paul Lachlan. Rapati there, he finished off after a good break from Beardmore. 
He's a wily campaigner, this bay boy. You've got to get in and certainly punch him down. Johnson converts it. So Lee in the lead now at 20 points to 12. Hitting back in good style, leader. Quick break, and as I said, this third man, Plath again, and Beardworth. There's all the moves are coming from them in the Lee ranks. Also, some good backing up. But these are the men you've got to take care of. You've got to get into them. As I've said before, when you're in the tackle, make the tackles uh, felt. Whisper in his ear and tell him not to come through this way again, and make sure that. Uh, see the there again. They're sp spreading it out. Certainly not frightened of throwing the ball out. Tony Cottrell now. On to Plath. Obviously, Saints lacking uh, uh, forward strength, as I said, with two forwards off the field, Evans and Harrison. And it's all that much harder to do, isn't it? Les Quirk being forced to play in the pack. But Lee there, they've got the bit between the teeth. There they are breaking very quickly. And uh, when it's going right for you, as you know, with any team, it, uh, you just seem, everything just seems to come off, doesn't it? Stevenson, is that, well, was it Brown or Stevenson? But he's lost the ball. Neil holding uh, quickly down on it. But Saints back in possession. And Lee all moving up forward, down in offside position on referee Whitfield's right. But he just doesn't look that way this time. Saints want to quick play the ball. Groves looking to get underway as Lee move up very quickly. Groves plays it to himself. Scampers forward. No way through for him. Releases it now. But the ball still going. Well, didn't see that go. Talk about the sleight of hand. That was it this time, wasn't it? Groves. Saints moving it to the right. Tony K. Going down in the saddle. Looking to release to his left. But he has to take the tackle. Very difficult for us to see on the far corner, but it's still in possession. Moving up to the lee line, sixth and final tackle signified. Saints spreading it along the line, Neil Holding, crossfield grubber. Looking for a mistake there as Alan Hunt comes in. But it's Robert Moy Moy. A rare touch for the lee outfit. Good uh, crossfield grubber from Neil Holding. Looking for a mistake from Moy Moy as uh, Alan Hunt came in. But Lee going across field there. Right across the face of their own six. Trying to get the players underway. Well, since Lee came... Uh, when the last time he was in the first division, he had 70, 87, 88, I should say. Saints completed the double. We won at Nosey Row by 23-14 at uh, Hilton Park here by 50 points to two. And also in the uh, Rugby League Challenge Cup, we beat uh, Lee here by 22 points to 12. It was in the second division last season. As I said before, they came up with Sheffield, Eagles and Barrow. Lee kicked downfield, but the ball, it won't run. Alan Hunt, he does well. Takes it. Takes the tackle of uh, Ruane. David Ruane. Weaver's at dummy half. On to David Tanner. Coming cross field. Very awkward uh, conditions there for playing a good open rugby. But it's the same for both sides, isn't it? Saints like the uh, dry pitch. And Lee, they've got to make uh, do with what they get, don't they? But the ball going down, Lee coming up with possession. Tony K, I think he just completes the tackle on the far side. But it's Lee, centre field, just short of the halfway line. Alan Platt. Temporarily stopped. We're trying to get things underway. Well, not completed yet. Solid tackle there from the Saints. He finally brings him down. Good tackle on Platt from Haggerty. Cries from the Lee crowd. Loose ball there from Lee. Is it Stevenson that tidies it up? As I say, very awkward now picking all these muddy men out. I have problem in the uh, dry weather, don't I? But uh, what can you expect? Puka McDean, trying to scamper through. Sixth tackle for Lee now. Saints wingers drop back for the kick downfield. There it is from Beardmore. Mark Bailey, as I said, he's on the right wing berth. But Beavers is there. He flicks it up to Mark Bailey now. Big reshuffle in the Saints ranks. As they're coached by uh, Shane Cooper. Till uh, a full-time co coach is appointed. Plenty of names linked. So he's uh, been linked with uh, Frank Stanton. From Australia, the uh, coach of the Invincible 1982 touring team, also Wal Meninga and the New Zealander uh, Mike McClellan. 
who caught Stian Cooper over there in, Austin, in uh, New Zealand, I should say. But anything can happen. We've been linked with Helen Hall for players, so we've been linked with Helen Hall for coaches, and we'll just see uh, who's appointed. Chip kick through there from Frodsham, yes. Lee player loses possession. Unlucky there. But they're back in, Lee are back in their own half. Fourth back there is Tommy Frodsham. Tries to break through there, the Lee man made a mistake, Frodsham had it on, but uh, no problem for Johnson, he went down, he saved the day, and it's Lee spreading it across field. Alan Plath, as he goes down in the saddle, he passes it up, good ball playing skills from this Lee outfit. Bring it to the blind side, Plath again. <laughs> Stevenson on to Plath, and out to Robert Moy Moy, but he wasn't there. Rapassi uh, was uh, coming up as well. But the ball, a good ball there, and the Lee player's not moving up very quickly. Neil holding to feed. Scrum down. This will level the scrum to two each. It does. Holding on to Alan Hunt coming in field. Does well to take it there, Alan Hunt. Frodsham. Inside ball there. Cooper trying to get things underway, but takes in possession and just brought down inside the Lee half. Nearly 14 minutes of the half gone. The score 20 points to 12 in Lee favour. After that uh, six minute try from Rapati. Most of the game being played in the uh, middle half of the field. Haggerty looking for that breakthrough. But, uh, solid tackling. The Lee all offside on referee Whitfield right. He's just not looking. Well, must be yes. Uh, Platt there. Not allowing uh, Paul Groves. He played the ball there. He come from... Uh, playing the ball and was uh, hauled down by Alan Platt. A penalty to Saints and I think Paul Lockley's going to have a go for goal. Trailing by 20 points to 12. If Paul Lockley is successful, this could bring us back within uh, one converted score. sensation of Alex Murphy passing with the Saints this week. He's uh, no stranger here at uh, Hilton Park Lee. He's been here on three occasions. He came to Lee as a player coach after he'd uh, completed a testimonial uh, season at uh, Nosey Road, around about 66-67. Uh, he took them to Wembley at uh, 71, where they beat uh, the high-flying Leeds. Lachlan strikes it well. Looks good from here, yes. Right between the uprights, reducing the deficit to six points. So Lee kick off, the ball knocked back by the Saints. Crash from a knock on from the uh, Lee faithful. But as I said, lost Paul Lockley there, lost in that goal over from the centre field. And Paul Lockley now is uh, accounted with all Saints, 14 points uh, here this afternoon. Tony Kay looking for the gap through. Saints bringing it blindside. Roy Haggerty again, looking to carve a gap in this lead defence, he's turning in the tackle, he's looking to release the ball. Ruane brings him to a halt with Alan Platt, and Saints moving it quickly to the right, overlap on the right, Frodsham again, holding the ball. Sixth and final tackle, the uh, referee with his outstretched right arm. Saints spreading it along the line, somebody will have to break, he'll hold it, into space. On to Roy Agassi, quick hands, on to Lachlan, Alan Hunt's with him, Lachlan, inside to Hunt, what can he do, Alan Hunt, very few chances this afternoon, he releases it now, the ball's still going, well, quick hands uh, would have been there, he knew it was on the sixth tackle, but uh, he did well, Alan Hunt, that ball should have gone, uh, I don't know who took it, but it should have gone to the right immediately, it's uh, the changeover, and Lee are back in possession. Saints will have to contain them, make sure the tackling counts up there. They look dangerous when they're in possession lead, they're not frightened of throwing it about. Stevenson there in the middle. Well, somebody been sent off for a trip, I think. Well, they certainly didn't look anything in that. We'll have to watch that again on the video, won't we? But he uh, stopped the game straight away and pointed over here. So somebody's being sent off. 
Shane Kubricky since uh, captain and caretaker coach has been sent from the field of play for an alleged trip after just receiving uh, or just coming back I should say after an eight, uh, eight match ban well as I said we'll have to watch that again on the video but since they reduced to uh, 12 men there was no cries or anything from the crowd round our earlier here or uh, anywhere in the field as I could hear for a trip of anything, perhaps as only referee Whitfield uh, saw it. And as is often before you uh, question the referee's eyesight and parentage, and uh, certainly we'll be questioning his eyesight on that occasion, won't we? But it's Lee now. One extra man. They're certainly looking lively. In the loose, and they're breaking through again. It's Ian Jeffrey. Brought down right on the Saints 25 yard line. The 12 man Saints reduced by two forwards as well, with injuries to Harrison and uh, Stuart Evans. It's certainly uh, a mammoth task, an uphill task against this lively Lee outfit. Peter Brown. Loose ball, Saints come up with it. Well, no, I beg your pardon. It was a loose ball, I thought Saints had come up with it. But surely that man in an offside position. Yes, penalised her for in an offside position. And rightly so. So it's Lachlan now, over to all commentary position. Well, just over the top there, I thought it was coming in that time. This is something we've said, Paul. But it's uh, Groves now. Wants to restart, but uh, an extra ball on the field. Bateman coming through, first receiver. Well, he's driving up there, but if he had brought through the uh, lead cover, there was nobody supporting him. Certainly lacking in supporting play of the Saints. Holding, short ball, Haggerty. Hold in again now. Saints bringing it to the left. Mark Bailey. Phil Beavers making the extra man. Looking for support, but Stevenson brings him down. A crunching clamp tackle from Stevenson. Haggerty now. He run out of the opposition. Tommy Frodsham again. And Saints moving upfield. It's difficult playing conditions. Lee moving up very quickly. Mark Bailey. Neil Holden. He took it well. Lachlan. Lost it ball there, taken by Tony Cave, he's facing his own line. Play allowed to go on. <laughs> Sixth and final tackle now, and Saints have lost 10 yards on that movement. David Tanner kicks up field. Good kick from him, it bounces in the field of play and goes into touch. So takes a little bit of the pressure off the Saints there. A scrum down to be formed just outside the lead 25. Certainly 50-50 chance of possession, but we're, we're lacking a lot of weight in the pack, aren't we? With Evans and Harrison out. Les Quirk, he's gone in uh, as a makeshift pack man. But you're always going to be struggling, and of course, uh, Shane Cooper just been sent off in the 17th minute of the second half uh, for a trip. An alleged trip, I should say. Lay up with possession, he spread it across the... Uh, Across the field now, coming over to the right wing. Beardmore inside ball on the diagonal to, to uh, Stevenson. He takes it back and Saints move up very quickly. Good play there from David Tanner. Ian Jeffrey, I think it is, on to Robert Moy Moy, but good tackle again. Tanner again. Just takes a knock in the tackle there, does David Tanner on the knee. But it was a tremendous tackle on Robert Moy Moy. Quick ball from Stevenson onto Cottrell. Just as his ankles tapped. Well, he's up and uh, running his Cottrell. He should have been well uh, pummeled down in the tackle there. But it's Lee looking the more lively. Ian Jeffrey lost his ball over. Well, there's the ball been knocked forward. It's Lachlan. He's come in. He's uh, completes the tackle there. But David Tanner is going to have to be helped from the field of play. Saints further reduced now. They're going to be reduced to 11 men. As he you knows, Stuart Evans, he's going to come back on. But David Tanner, it's a nasty knee injury. Sustained when he went in to tackle Robert Moy Moy. They're a very brave tackle. So Stuart Evans, they're just getting stripped off. Obviously don't want to play him, he's uh, heavily strapped right side there as you can see. 
Well, Saints reduced, uh, well, they would have been reduced to 11, and uh, they're, wouldn't they, down to 12. And Adam Street in at the front row, Saints come up with the ball. Crodsham. Saints cross field, Tony Kay. Out the left, there's Quirk, I think he's on the, uh, got on the wing now. Tommy Frodsham looking to get things going. Fadel coming up there, but Frodsham just uh, banged down in the tattle. Bailey and all him working the loop movement. But a crunching tackle there from Malon Plath. This loose forward for Lee. Frodsham again, scamping through from Akin half-back position. Beavers along the line now. Let's Quirk, I think it is, on the far side. The ball's kicked up field. Yes, it's Quirk. He's kicked it to the Hanky Tom. He's following it up, he's looking for a mistake from the Lee outfit. Well, is he obstructed there on the far side? The touch judge coming in on the far side. It looks as though a penalty is going to go Saints way. I was just watching the actual ball. I wasn't watching what was happening there as the Quirk was hurrying up. I knew he was following it up. Is there another Saints player being sent off? I just uh, looks like. Uh, well, sensation here at Tilton Park. Let's work it. Is He's been sent from the field of play. And alleged trip, alleged other trip. So Saints further reduced. 11 players now, and Les Quirky comes off, he shrugged his shoulders, he doesn't know what he's been sent off for, and that makes two of us here, because neither do I. Well, referee Whitfield there on the officials, they're certainly doing the damnedest to give Lee these two points this afternoon, as I said, Saints are struggling. We, uh, Already with two forwards injured, Levens has just come back on, we're replacing David Tanner. But Saints trailing by 20 points to 14. We're used to 11 men and Tommy Frodsham there, trying to get things going at the hub of things. He loses possession and uh, number four Ian Jeffrey comes up with possession. Stevenson, sharp ball there to Plath. Looking to turn it inside, he does to uh, Robert Moimoy. Lee keep it going, certainly backing up well. And Saints with a mammoth uphill task here now. 15 minutes remaining and trailing by 20 points to 14. Lee stretching the Saints on the far side. The ball to Wayne Scandish, yes. And he's in. 35 yard movement from Lee across the field. Fed on to Scandish and with Saints down to 11 men. That means a two man overlap for Lee. And no problem. Quickness of hands there. Move it across field. And. Uh, Standish goes in for the try. <laughs> Extends the Lee lead to 24 points to 14 and it must be an uphill battle now, surely. Over on the far side when Les Quirk got sent off, I thought he was uh, penalising the Lee man for an infringement on Quirk, but he's alleged uh, a trip and uh, it's beyond me how he can trip somebody when he's kicked up field and he's following the ball up. But uh, pick the bones out of that. The next Sunday, certainly not a good build-up for next Sunday. It's the first, uh, but it's the preliminary round of the uh, Challenge Cup, where Saints have unfortunately been drawn against Castleford. It is at home, it's at Nosey Road, but uh, one of these two great teams are going to go out. Also, Bradford and Leeds have been uh, drawn in the preliminary round of the Challenge Cup. Lee are going to make a further substitution now. With number 14, uh, John Westhead coming on uh, to replace uh, number 10, uh, Brian Case. So a reshuffle in the Lee pack as well as the Saints. But the goal kick uh, went to miss there from Chris Johnson. So the score still stands at 24 points to Lee, 14 to the Saints. A 10-point cushion for Lee. And the running hard is Stevenson trying to uh, thread his way through. Alan Hunt and Andy Bateman bring him down. But Westhead runs right into, looks like Stuart Evans. Yeah, big Stuart Evans there. 
Rapaki, Cantafee, looking to release, he does so. On to Beardmore, they're certainly keeping it going, Ali. Cottrell, is it uh, working his way through, or is it Alan Platt? It's Alan Platt, very difficult to pick them out in these awkward uh, conditions, muddy conditions. Never see strain in this afternoon since the kickoff. It was delayed a uh, quarter of an hour, but Alan Holmes, a good clamp tackle there on Dean. 12 minutes of time remaining. Saints trailing by 24 points to 14. Quick hands, Beardmore again onto Cotter. Well taken by Stigwell. Forward pass inside there to Moy Moy. But Lee keeping it going. Beardmore again. He's going to go in. He's Beardmore. Well, Saints look as though they had them all tied up there in this corner. But Beardmore lurking there. And it was Stevenson, Moy Moy. Beardmore had jumped to the end of it. And he heard down this wing. And uh, gets another try on the board for Lee. Well, you get the headlines in the press there, a state reduced uh, to 11 men and uh, obviously with player, standing player coach Shane Cooper going off, being sent off on an alleged trip, which you nobody know, hears saw anything and then Les Quirk uh, being sent off just what, uh, seven minutes later for another alleged trip. Uh, it uh, sounds bad, but uh, it's been a good game, it's been a good clean game, hard game, played in the most difficult of conditions. And Lee uh, in the lead by 24, uh, 28 now, I beg your pardon, 28 points to 14. And this conversion attempt to come from Chris Johnson. Is it floating in? It looks good, yes. A superb kick from Johnson there. Extends the Lee lead to 30 points, now to 14. And it certainly helps uh, Lee's a relegation battle it doesn't do much for the Saints there looking forward to two points from today's encounter I said the uh, a Challenge Cup preliminary round the next Sunday and then a uh, televised tie the following Saturday against uh, another struggling First Division team Salford which we hope to come away with points from we've also two league games to rearrange the Bradford one which uh, the fine was imposed and then uh, Next Sunday, we should have played Hull at home. That's that to be rearranged and uh, with the personnel, with a lot of injuries and now two players being sent off and they're gonna be up for, for orders against the disciplinary committee. But it's Platt, kicked it upfield. The ball gone directly into touch, but it was Lee on the charge again and they must have had players in support. Surely points going to begging for Lee. Alan Platt broke through there. He chips it through, he went directly into touch, it's going to be a scrum down for midway between the Saints 25 and the halfway line, it's Saints to feed Neil Olden. He comes up with possession, spreads it infield. But it's going to be extremely hard trying to penetrate this uh, Lee defence. Lee with two players more than the Saints, but Prodsham trying to get things going, quick hands Neil Olden. Mark Bailey, unlucky there, just taken down by Westhead. Freshman Westhead, the Speavers, Roy Haggerty. Paul Lockley in the second half back. Well, they are moving up there with referee Whitfield. Supposed to keep them back uh, the required yardage, but no way there that uh, Lee were on side. Well, uh, he's had a look to his left this time and he's uh, penalised Lee. Not before time either, but it's uh, a bit late in the day. Since uh, move upfield and fine touch on the 25, the lead 25 that is. Paul Gross to get things underway. Strong running from the Saints forwards now. Moving it inside. Very difficult to pick them out on the far side, uh, right in the bottom uh, corner. But it states moving it along the line. Neil Olden looking for the way through, trying to borrow his way through. Only a few yards from the Lee line. Lee in the lead by 30 points to 14 and uh, about eight minutes of time remaining. Evans charging for the line. Well, the referee there is uh, 
He's actually behind the line of Lee players. Sixth and final tackle. Saints putting the pressure on, but they find it very hard with Lee with a two-man overlap. So it's coming out here now. Grubber kick through. Can Alan Hunt? Can he uh, capitalise on it? He can. But it's gone into touching goal, I think. And Lee uh, from a Saints boot. And Lee are going to start with a 25-yard tap from the centre of, uh, obviously, of the 25-yard line. Lee resume play. Moving it quickly to the left. Midway between the halfway and uh, the Lee 25. Lee in possession. Lee in the lead by 30 points to 14. A very dispirited state side now, obviously with the standing player coach Shane Cooper there, not giving his uh, guidance. But Lee take a quick tap penalty. The ball coming out to Wayne Standish, he couldn't take it. Saints spread it in field. Picked up well there by Stuart Evans. On to Roy Haggerty. <laughs> Phil Vivers moving up. You have to move up at all uh, possible times, Phil Vivers, to make that extra man. He's there again. Obviously playing without a full-back. Let's hope Lee don't... Uh, capitalise on this because the Saints are all lying up and it's going to lead to a further state score a further Lee score if Lee gain possession Stuart Evans penalised there for pushing uh, Ruane off in his efforts to play the ball but they all do it don't they but referee Whitfield he's, uh, he's got his Lee head on this afternoon and it's Alan Platt to kick to touch Bob Beardmore just been named as the lead man of the match. He's had a good game along with Alan Platt. Lee just short of the uh, Saints 25 now. And they've got a plan move, obviously, up the sleeve now to hope to get further points on the board. Peter Brown taken down by Roy Haggerty. Beardmore attacking halfback. Loop movement with Platt, but he changes direction well. One too many uh, fur of hands there. Groves comes up with the ball. But referee Whitfield already blown up for a knock-on. They assumed that uh, a Lee player had come up with the ball after Lee had knocked on. Even though Paul Grove did come up with it, he's already blew up, made his decision. Neil Olin's a feed now. Tommy Frodsham on the re uh, reverse uh, diagonal onto Alan Hunt. Well, Westhead is going in there around the head after uh, Hunt well taken by David Stevenson. Saints with five scrums to three in the second half, but uh, lacking in personnel, down to 11 players. As I said before, it'll sound bad. It'll sound bad uh, when you read the local papers and that and the national press, but it's a good, uh, been a good, hard, clean game, and both of those incidents where the Saints players were sent off certainly uh, didn't look anything in them at all. Roy Haggerty trying to get things underway, looking to release. Well, lying all over Haggerty there. Referee Whitfield moves in and Groves uh, is in there with Haggerty. And just as I was saying, it was a nice clean game and we just get a little bit of a flare up. But Paul Groves wants to quick play the ball. Roy Haggerty being held down there. The touch judge there, just... Uh, <laughs> but uh, Mick Dean, it is the hooker. He's penalised. Paul Lachlan. Punches it up into the lead 25. Groves to restart. On to Alan Hunt. But it's it now in the lead 25. Going to find it difficult to uh, penetrate this uh, Lee defence. Trailing by 30 points to 14. Just a three minutes of normal time remaining. Certainly the two points are going to go uh, Lee's way this afternoon, no doubt about that. But Tommy Frodsham, he's been tireless, he's been looking to prod and probe and penetrate this uh, Lee defence. Tony Kay, good, useful lad, but uh, solid tackling from Lee. They've certainly stuck to the task this afternoon. 
Since uh, forwards are still running hard in the uh, dying minutes, looking to get to further points on the board. The ball coming in to inside infield. It's going to be a knock on. They follow it up, but uh, the initial knock on is going to be ruled. Was it on the sixth tackle? Yes, it was. And referee Whitfield is uh, signifying the changeover. So disappointing game this afternoon for the Saints faithful. Trailing but uh, present by 30 points to 14, two minutes of time remaining. A good boost uh, for the Lee outfit. The CFC 11th position uh, in the Stone Bitter League Championship. And all points are valuable, aren't they? But it's Lee in possession, Saints are trying to hold them in the 25. If Lee can spread it out quickly, they've been doing the damage uh, on the wings. Beardmore and uh, Plath dominating play in the centre field. But it's Lee now driving upfield. Looking to release it there, spread it quickly to Westhead. Lofty ball there, must be a knock on that. On to Robert Moy Moy, touched his fingers and then he kicked it into touch, but surely the knock on. Yes, referee uh, Whitfield indicates that the knock on from Robert Moy Moy scrum down just outside the Lee 25. Neil holding to feed. Lee make a substitution with number 11 coming back on to replace uh, Tony Cottrell. So it's in possession. Tony Kay looking to uh, wind his way through, but Lee penalised, have you? No, he said uh, Kay's not played the ball well. If he's not played the ball, surely he should have penalised him. <laughs> But Saints uh, trying to finish off uh, with a bit of a flourish. Trailing by 30 points to 14. Disappointing defeats uh, from this afternoon. It's only a matter of seconds now before the final who said I make that uh, 40 minutes up. We're playing in time added on for stoppages. I don't think we've had much stoppage time, have we? Haggerty, lofted ball up to the far side. Tony Kay coming back inside. Diagonal run from Tony Kay. He takes Barrow centre. Shade spreading it to Bateman again, to the wing. But the ball been knocked on, and, uh, well, I thought it had been knocked on. Must have been kicked forward, and Saints going at the corner for a try in injury time. And to be quite honest, I've not a clue who scored it. Well, Paul Lachlan been... Uh, a judge with the try, we don't know. Uh, our cameraman seemed to think it was Tommy Frodsham and uh, we've had uh, Viva's name been uh, branded here. But uh, we don't know, it's been given to Paul Lachlan, so he's the scorer of all the state's points at present. Yes, I think it was actually Phil Viva's that uh, scored the try. He's coming right back, but uh, to give out Paul Lachlan, I think it was Viva's. We'll put him down on the team sheet and uh, amend it if need be. But it's Paul Lachlan going to take the uh, conversion attempt. Well, I'm sure he won't have time to restart the game after this uh, Lachlan conversion attempt. He's right on the touchline there. Just outside the 25. Strikes it well. Is it coming in field? No, goes across the face of the posts. There we are. There's the final hooter. It just reduces the deficit to 30 points to 18. What a tremendous boost for Lee this afternoon. Winning by 30 points to 18. It was in the lead at half-time by 14 points to 12. After Saints was leading 12-8, and then in the dying uh, seconds of injury time, Collier going in for a try. Converted by Johnson, and that was it, 14 points to 12. Again, uh, Lee with an early try in the second half from Rapati. 20 points to 12. Lachlan hit back with a penalty goal. And then it was all Lee. Try from Standish, going unconverted, and then Beardmore scampering in down the wing, well converted by Johnson, 30 points to 14, and then Phil Viva just tidying up in the dying seconds on the far corner, and uh, the final score, 30 points to 18. Two men sent off uh, 
for the Shane. Uh, Shane Cooper and Les Quirk, both under dubious circumstances. We'll have to look at that again on the video. Anyway, thanks for joining us once again. You've been with BSN Broadcast Sport News. My name's Ron Hoof, and I hope you'll join us again next week at uh, Nosey Road from Selling for the first round uh, preliminary uh, tie of the... Uh, the first, I should have said the preliminary tie of the Challenge Cup.